Well, this lighting's terrible. And you can tell like in this camera, I feel like when I look in the mirror, I don't look swollen, but when I look at the camera now, I feel like I'm really swollen. But um, I just got to Target. I wanted to pick up a couple things for um, Owen's room because we just finished like the dresser and the changing topper. So I wanted to get baskets on either side. I wanted to get a basket for the nightstand. There's a couple of things that I wanted to like fill the baskets with. Um, and then I want to look, I really like to get my like phone chargers from Five Below because like that's where they're the cheapest. And I've had my Five Below charger for the longest time, for like years I'm saying. And it finally just died on me. And I've been using a shorter one and it's not like a 10 foot cord and I really hate that. And uh, everyone's number one thing for a hospital bag is to have a 10 foot cord. So I'm gonna look at their hours, but I don't think they open until like 11. So I'm gonna look at Target here on see what their 10 foot cords are priced at. And if it's not too bad, then maybe I'll get them here. But, um, but yeah, we're here super early, 8.30 in the morning. I wake up like super early every morning. Um, and now that I'm getting close, um, to giving birth because I want to get more things done. But it's nice because Michael and Ethan, they sleep until like 9.30 um, usually. I think Ethan did wake up a little bit early. Um, I think he's actually awake now and he's probably laying with Michael in bed. But it's nice that Michael can watch him, get him ready for breakfast and everything. Um, and I can run out and do errands in the morning when no one is here. Like look at this parking lot. Like there's the front of the store, clearly and no one is here so it's nice that i don't have to shop around crowds and i can take my time and not feel like i'm being pushed around the store so let's get in there let's get that done i think i want to go get a car wash too just because like this car is so dirty so i hope that's going to be done this morning and then we will do some nesting around the house excuse the no makeup situation I haven't put makeup on in a very long time and I'm okay with it so all natural baby so I just went in the dollar section like this wasn't but dollar section for Easter gifts and I was thinking about this sign I know people probably use it for the white side let me use this side and put a cute saying and hang it in his room I don't know if I like these ones. They're nice and long and they big sturdy. And then they have these like wicker ones. I feel like these are cuter. <laughs> they're not as long though, but they're like deeper if that makes sense I don't know if this technically goes with my scheme though I think I'm gonna X these ones out just because they don't really go with my scheme I know they're cuter but I'm just gonna X them out I think I'm just gonna go with the black ones they're a little bit more decorative than like the normal ones like you know like these ones from Target but I think these are gonna work Keep having a cramp like right in my groin, like I pulled a like a nerve or something, and it hurts. <laughs> so of course, as soon as I got home, my Amazon package was here. So I'm gonna open this up. I already know what's in it, but um, I'm hoping it works too. Because let me open this real quick. It's gonna be loud. So recently, Ethan likes to play in the toilet so excuse that my hot chocolate um but he likes to play in the toilet so i read th that um sorry i'm like really i don't know um i read that if they start being interested in the bathroom and all that kind of stuff it's a good time to start potty training so we just got him like a potty seat it's from munchkin it was like 10 dollars off of amazon not a big deal this is what i hope works so um we 
don't live anywhere near my parents and my mom is the one that usually takes like our family photos and stuff and I keep forgetting every time she comes up here to take like our maternity photos for this baby and so now the next time she's coming up is when he's born so I need um, I want to do maternity pictures so I got this it like attaches to the top of like my DSLR and so like this part attaches to the top of the DSLR and like this is like that clicker so like if we're like it says you can do it from like a hundred meters away which plenty and you can just click like um like you're ready to take the picture so hopefully that will work out I'm gonna think I'm gonna try it out this week I think we're gonna try to do our maternity pictures tomorrow um, and we're also going to go to the zoo tomorrow and that's where we did our maternity t pictures the first time around and I said that I was going to take my maternity pictures 10 times earlier this year or like this time around just because I look back at my maternity pictures and I see how swollen I was and I'm just not for it and I'm starting to swell up like clearly like my face like my face doesn't always look <laughs> this swollen so um, I definitely want to get the pictures done before he gets here um i'm like almost 36 weeks i'm like 35 and a half right now so hopefully that will work out we will take pictures tomorrow and go to the zoo i will probably bring you guys along as well um because i don't know how long this video will be i know like i want to do mostly like nesting stuff today but obviously i didn't get a car wash otherwise i would have shown that I just realized it was it's supposed to be like the high today is like 34 and tomorrow is like the high is like 50 something so I'm gonna do a car wash tomorrow <laughs> and I was gonna go get a Starbucks hot chocolate too but I forgot I had hot chocolate at home so here I am sitting at home and the boys are still upstairs so I'm probably gonna have to go get them soon or I'll make breakfast for them first and then go get them but i'm excited to try this out and i wanted to show you some stuff that i didn't show in target like i showed these and i know people probably use this for like the white side but i'm gonna use it for this side and i'm gonna put it above like his like little picture frame that he has in his room um this is for owen not ethan ethan's room is completely finished but I think I'm going to put like some like little saying or something on it. I just don't know exactly what I want to put on there. So I'll be Pinteresting that today and cutting it out on my Cricut um, or I'll hand paint it. I think mm, probably Cricut. It's faster. It's easier. And then I'll hang this above his picture shelf and I'll show you guys his room and what it looks like. It's a complete disaster right now um but we finally finished the dresser and the changing topper which i think i already said when i was sitting at target but it feels good to finally get some things done around the house and then this is like non-fun stuff i don't think yeah like i got some diaper rash cream baby powder to fill up like his side oh i can show you like stuff i'm gonna put in the boys easter basket i can do that um, this is stool softener because I forgot to order it with all of, like my other postpartum stuff off of Amazon and they give you it at the hospital but like obviously like, only in like certain amount of doses and then like when you come home like you need it still and I think my other ones expired well, maybe they don't expire I mean this one says 523 so I just don't know where the other one is from when I gave birth to Ethan so I picked that up as well and a light bulb for Owen's room. There's like a little lamp in there that doesn't have a light bulb in it, so. Okay, so for the boys for Easter, I already started their Easter baskets and I can like kind of do like a whole video on that. I'm sure I'll do it like for Easter itself, but I've got some sidewalk chalk for Ethan. Like this was all in the dollar section at Target and it always suckers you in. Like you walk in and they put it right there. They know how to mark it, I guess, but um, sidewalk chalk for Ethan. These are like little counting cards. It's like count one to 20. Um, these are like little teethers that I can put in the fridge. So 
I'm gonna put these in Owens and then um, it'll help. I, I, Ethan likes these at um, his Nona's house, which is Michael's mom. And I'm sure he'll probably use them too. But mostly these are going into Owen's basket. And then I got two books for both of them. So starting off with Owen, I did like two basic ones, like Little Red Riding Hood, which because Ethan doesn't have that one. And then this one is like the three little pigs. And I thought they were cute the little ones. And for Ethan, of course, they're Disney. So here's like, I thought this was cool. And he might be too young for this, but I don't really care. It's Mickey Mouse and he's obsessed with Mickey Mouse. So it's like a Mickey Mouse comic book. And I thought it was like kind of cute. Like, I don't know. It was a dollar. So, oh, look, they go whitewater rafting here. See, like, it's just cute. I don't know. And then another one is like the Pixar ones. And it just has like little ones, like each page is a different Pixar movie. So, so that's gonna go in his um, Easter basket. And I have a bunch of other stuff um, in my hall closet here, like the Easter baskets itself and some more things, but I'm not gonna pull it out right now. So you guys will have to wait to see that stuff. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna make some breakfast, go wake them up. Or maybe I'll wake them up and come down and have Michael make this breakfast because I didn't eat yet and I usually eat um, as soon as I wake up. But I did have like a huge bowl of cereal before going to bed last night at like 10 something. Michael went out and salted um, parking lots and stuff like that. Oh, you probably don't know that. I haven't like updated on my YouTube channel in a while. So if you're, don't know me personally or whatever outside of YouTube. My husband owns his own company and he plows in the winter time. So that's another reason why he's here <laughs> because it's the first day of March or second day, I guess, right? Today's Tuesday, second day of March. And oh my gosh, I'm eight months pregnant today. On the dot, eight months pregnant because my due date is April 2nd. But um, I lost my train of thought, pregnancy brain. Anyways. I'm gonna go wake them up. <laughs> well, probably wake up Michael. Ethan's probably already awake and watching Mickey Mouse in bed. But I'm gonna get them and see if Michael will make us breakfast. Also, quick little update. Um, I might do a sit down, like pregnancy update. I probably will, I'll probably film that today. And, and my hospital bag is officially packed. So maybe I will do both of those videos today, kinda combined in one if I can make that happen. If not, then I'll just split it up into two videos, but no judging, cause I'm gonna be wearing the same thing in both videos. Maybe I'll change a shirt out, but that's it. Um, but those are officially done. And the only reason why I got everything done for my hospital bag was because when I went into labor with Ethan, um, I was having those same signs this time. And I thought, okay, well maybe I'll be going into labor tonight. And it got me all worried and I didn't like finish packing my hospital bag or anything. So I got my crap together. Oh my gosh, I just completely forgot. I forgot to look at the chargers. I didn't put it on my list. See, when you're pregnant, make a list. And so you don't forget anything. And I didn't put it on my list. Uh, I'll just have to wait until five below opens today and I'll go get, I'll go get them. But anyways, back to my story. But um, yeah, so I got all my stuff together for my hospital bag because I thought I might be going into labor that night. I got the car seat all washed and ready to go and I brought the base up so it can go right into the car. And I started charging all of my cameras. <laughs> But clearly I didn't go into labor, I'm still here. Um, I had my doctor's appointment yesterday, everything looks good. Next week is when they're gonna start checking me for dilation. And yeah, so we're just gonna kinda take it day by day, but I kinda feel like he's gonna come before April. I think he's gonna be born in March. But we will see, of course. 
Um, yeah, but I can do more of a, a pregnancy update with everything um, because there is some changes that has happened. So yeah, I'll probably do that. Actually, I'm probably gonna have to do two separate videos because yeah, because so much has happened in the past couple of weeks. And clearly a, a bunch has happened because like if you look behind me, we have our new couch in there. We've got new shelf. I'll show you guys around all the projects that we've been doing for the past couple of days and weeks and why I have not been on my YouTube game and I know it. Um, it's just hard when your husband was gone for like two months straight because we got snow like every other day um, and like big stretches at a time like our one huge snowstorm that we still have snow on the ground from is like we had 30 30 plus inches and I didn't see him for like four days so it's hard so when you are at home and you don't have any help 24 7 you don't want to do anything around the house or have any motivation to do anything so now that he is home and it's not supposed to snow anymore and it, he might just have to go do like a salt run every once in a while just because it'll be warm during the day it will melt all the snow and whatever it freezes at night yeah so it's it's been nice he's at home and he's been helping me with projects throughout the entire day and it's amazing <laughs> So it's it's good and it's it's finally feels like you can relax a little bit and not have to stress about certain things. But anyway, so I'm rambling now. I am going to go wake him up. So this is what we are currently dealing with. All this stuff is from the dresser, so I just have to put those back in. And there's stuff in his crib. Stuff that needs to go downstairs. More stuff that needs to go downstairs trash <sighs> so let's get started keep pushing you away while i want you to stay amazing god is eyes but my heart still beats when i say no it's yes i'm putting you to the test can you handle me Sorry that I've been playing games Do you really have what it takes? I guess so, I guess so I guess so, I guess so I am a sweet, I need my king Are you bad enough to sin? I think so, I think so I think so, I think so Okay, let me just be honest with you
So this is everything I got done today, which is a pretty big progress. And obviously you can see it is dark out now and Ethan is screaming because he didn't want to go down for bed. But yeah, we even finished this over here. I don't think I had this on camera. So we did a little bookshelf and then I got to figure out what I'm going to put on that. But there we go. Oh man, he's really screaming. <laughs> but thank you all so much for watching. If you liked today's video, then give it a thumbs up. I'm sure I'm going to do a couple more nesting videos. And I do plan on filming a pregnancy update. As well as what's in my hospital bag for baby number two. Um, but just stay tuned for those. And they should be coming here shortly. And I will see you guys in those videos. See you then. Bye. Till the end.